The XM1203 NLOSC, known as the Non-Line of Sight Cannon, originated as a developmental project in the United States. This artillery system incorporated technology initially intended for the abandoned XM2001 Crusader program. The NLOSC was conceived as part of the proposed Future Combat Systems Development Initiative with the objective of replacing the M109A6 Paladin self-propelled howitzers. An initial prototype of the XM1203 was completed in 2008. However, due to financial constraints and other factors, the NLOSC never advanced to the production stage. Several of its technological innovations were subsequently integrated into the M109A7 howitzer. The NLOSC was equipped with a 155mm-L38 howitzer and a fully automated ammunition loading mechanism. This autoloader was derived from the cancelled Crusader program, effectively eliminating the need for manual handling of ammunition. By simply pressing a button, the XM1203 could consistently fire shells. Its standard high explosive, heat, projectile had a maximum firing range of 30 kilometers. The XM1203 NLOSC was tailored for precision strikes on both individual targets and larger areas. The system had the capability to engage in multiple round simultaneous impact firing. Additionally, the XM1203 could employ precision guided munitions, including the M982 Excalibur extended range GPS guided rounds. The estimated maximum firing rate was approximately 10 rounds per minute. In terms of protection, the NLOSC incorporated active and passive defense systems, featuring specialized ceramic armor and an anti RPG protection system. These enhancements were aimed at increasing the survivability of both the crew and the platform against various threats encountered on the battlefield. The system was also equipped with a system for protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC, hazards. Though the prototype lacked defensive armament, provisions were made for the easy integration of a heavy machine gun to provide self-defense capabilities for the artillery system. Notably, the NLOSC operated with a crew of only two individuals due to the full automation of its functions. Refueling and reloading were both managed automatically, eliminating the need for crew members to exit the vehicle. The NLOSC utilized a track chassis that was part of the broader Future Combat System family. This chassis was designed for a high level of commonality, reaching around 75 to 80 percent. Propelled by a diesel engine and a hybrid electric propulsion system, the NLOSCS chassis was specially engineered to enhance mobility, minimize fuel consumption, and enable stealthy movement. The system could be transported by military aircraft such as the Airbus A400M and similar transport planes.